morning and all. I don't know what's going wrong recently, but it's six o'clock on Sunday morning. It's already 15 degrees Celsius. After last time I came down here and got too hot, just in a t-shirt. I've actually got a flask of tea with me as well, in case I need it. And it's a gorgeous morning. There's uh, a couple of big ships out on the horizon. Glorious sunshine. What more can we ask for? So I've had two months off, isolated. I'll come back and start metal detecting. Beautiful weather. Which is, as you know from my previous videos, is very unusual for me. Right, I'm going back to the beach where I've got so many coins that I couldn't shut my pot. Hopefully we'll have another good day. So let me get hiking and I'll see you there in a few seconds. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the tide is in today. What a gorgeous morning. So that's where we're heading, right up there where the buildings are. So I'll just do me quick shimmy down the seawall and we'll get down there. Let's go for it. For those of you uh, still following the, uh, the COVID thing, the UK at the moment, we are still sort of under a lockdown. Uh, some businesses are starting to open. Some sports will be starting up in two weeks time um, but we are allowed out now to a public place and we can meet up with a maximum of six people in a public place um, providing we still do the social distancing which means you have to stay two meters away from uh, any person you come into contact with which is why i'm working at home if you've been wondering why because at work obviously you have a big building lots of people in it it's very difficult to keep two metres away from everyone so they're limiting the number of people who go to work um, so I'm only going in almost one day a week if that at the moment which is good for me because I actually get uh, more done at home and I don't have to travel every day 90 mile round trip so good right enough of my yakking let's get detected there may actually be another detectorist on the beach hiding just around the corner down there so it'll be interesting to see if he is detected. Well, first target, and it's actually just a 20p. Laying on the top, so that's all right. So we'll chuck that in. The other guy is uh, metal detecting, and he's making his way over here, so no doubt wants a chat. Right, I'm gonna go silent for a while. Another nice sign, 10p in the scoop, lovely. Big coin spill here, just had a pound coin. That's nice, right, on we go. And another, all in the same area. So this is good. We've got a really decent coin spill here. Right, we'll carry on. I'm being evaded by the other detectorists in a minute. Hold on. Well, it was another detectorist. Uh, didn't acknowledge me in any way, so I've just left him detecting. But yeah, we've had a few coins already, so I'm going to work my way back down there, and then uh, we'll see what else we can get. But obviously a few people have been on the beach, because that coin spill I had was a recent drop. Well, I'd forgotten how good tea out of flask could take. It's good to be back, cheers. Ah, there's the other guy over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, just no one around. I'll just run along the edge down here. I'm gonna go back up in the dry stuff. There's more up there, I think. But it's not a great deal doing today. I'll wander back down there where the coin spill was, so we can get some more, but I just needed to have a little break, have a cup of tea, and uh, recharge myself. Right, let's crack on. Oh, that tasted good. Right, on we go. We're running right down against the beach, uh, literally down there, only about an inch down. I've got a target, and uh, it's a little pin by the looks of it. Um, trying to clean it up a minute. Yeah, it says uh, stand up if you hate Man U, which is Manchester United football ground or football club. So yeah, that's something a bit different. I've never found one of them before. But just goes to show you there's a few targets down by the water's edge as well, so it's always worth doing down. That's the find so far, so we've got the two pound coins, the 20p, the 10p, and the stand up if you hate Man U badge. Right, we carry on. So yeah, turning into not too bad a day today. 
I think the tea helped us refresh. Right, I think we could be into coin spill. I've just had a coin down there. Um, and I've got another target in the hole. There's a load of fireworks here, so it looks like a load of people have been uh, doing bits and pieces. So let's see what, let's have a live dig. So it's in here by all accounts. Right, and it's in the scoop. And what have we got? Never is anything good on a live dig, is it? And to be honest with you, a piece of sea glass, big pebble. I can see nothing metallic in there at all. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's a big bit of lead. But there was a coin here, so albeit a very cruddy one. So we're spiral out. But no. Nothing. All right. Uh, okay, let me continue on. Well, coin in the scoop. I just had a really cruddy signal. Thought it was just a bit of iron, really. And uh, out came another coin. So we've had new ones and old cruddy ones, but that was just on the top of this pile of sand. So let's just have a little... spiral from here but uh, so this is where these people had the fireworks okay nothing around that let's carry on well another coin in the scoop just came out the hole down there a couple of inches down I'm right down against the sea, so I think this is another cruddy penny. By the looks of it, it is. So I'm going to head down to another beach at the moment. Um, and we'll see how we go on there. So I'm just detecting literally down to where that sign is in the distance, and then we're done. So let me spiral out from here. Um, just to check that's just uh, the only thing around it. Chances are that's just been washed in by the tide and flipped over the top of the bank. But there's another signal there. We didn't get it. It's still in there. Right, it's out. So and it's here. in the scoop see what we got won't be any good because we never get anything good on a light oh it's another coin Aha. look at that twenty pence piece from 1982 and that is why you spiral out because had I just gone off detecting and not spiralled out wouldn't have got that one so that's that's one coin there, one coin there. Let's just check here. Right, we'll spiral out from the 20 pence piece. Yeah. Right. 
field easy. I'm going to just check to the left and right of here just a bit as well because because those two are there you don't always swing and get everything when you come along oh hang on we've got another target here we've got another one here all right saying it's on the edge here lost it now and it's here right I think it's in the scoop let's have a look what we got here I don't see anything yet uh, I think yeah it's a piece of aluminium that bit can't see anything else in it ok fill that in Nice target here. There she comes. Uh, big bit of aluminium. Right, get rid of that. Ugh. Nice piece of can lid if you're really into that sort of thing. Ugh flick the stuff in my pocket then right let's continue and I'll shut down there's a dog walker coming hang on well I've left that beach now I'm going to do Bush Bay now that's the other beach down there so I just found myself a uh, little place to perch here got a nice view lovely sunny day so look camera's falling about I'm just going to drink a bit of my tea have a little five minute break then I'm going to go down there and hit that beach there um, it is gorgeous out here today normally I'm out in rain high wind ice you name it but you know to have a couple of months off and come back to this is fantastic the only downside is with all the travel restrictions probably not going to get a holiday in this year although I do have something in reserve if we can't get away. Uh, that tea's almost past its sell by date. It's very lukewarm, but I'm still drinking it. Right, I shall get on, finish my tea, and uh, I'll see you back if we get a target and we we'll do a live dig. Mr. Beach is excited. Just there, I had a target. I couldn't do the live dig. I've got another coin in the scoop, which I've just had out that hole there, which is um, a modern 2P. So I'll spiral out from there in a minute. However, look what I have just found. It's a so, uh, silver sixpence from, I can't read the date. 19... 't see I'm gonna to have to clean that up and get that in the acid bath but that's a, a GR silver sixpence that is incredible brilliant so that was worth coming down onto this beach so I'm gonna go very slowly from here now because if there's older coins like that about we're in it but as I say it was just literally laying there and it was literally on the surface so right let me get hunting and uh, I've also got spiraled out from my hole there as well Right, I've got a target right on this bank. It could be iron, it could be rubbish, I don't know. Right, it's saying it's down here. Ah. 
piece of can store. Always the way on live digs. Right, let's continue on. Can you see it lurking in the scoop there? There it is. A nice shiny 2006 Tempe. That's just in the dry stuff up here by the sea wall. So let's get that in the pot. And uh, we'll circle out from here. Might just be an odd drop. Not getting any other targets. Oh, hang on. Got something here. Still in the oak. Still in the hole. Blimey. Having trouble getting this. You know what? I think this is iron. I think this is a massive piece of iron. Yeah, we moved it. Yeah, I think this is a big bit of iron. Right, hang on. I'm going to have to turn the camera off because there's people coming. Hold on. Uh, well, I would say that's a bit off an anchor. Um, I'm going to have to leave that though, I can't take that, dispose of that, because I've got no way of carrying that at the moment, but let me know, I'll rebury it. Right, on we go. Well, I'm running along the top here, where I have done in the past, got to the hole there, and we just booted out a two pence piece. So, not a bad old pot of coins today, and the badge. So right, let's continue on. Right, well that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the hunt this morning. We did uh, two beaches, we didn't do too bad. Best find of the day is the sixpence. Uh, one of my favorite coins for finding those. We'll check the date and we'll see whether that's solid silver. Um, but by now, you probably will have seen it. But anyway, I'm heading back to the car. So, I hope you're enjoying us being out hunting again. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, I just may as well add, but you know where I'm heading for now, my traditional cup of tea and some nice breakfast to go with it. Right, catch you later.